Thank you, Lena. 34 minutes after 7 o'clock and checking on Money Matters this morning. The pandemic has led to fewer calls for pest service. And Governor DeSantis is taking steps to limit Chinese spying. Jane King joins us live from New York with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning, Jane. Good morning. Hi, Bruce and Jen. Good morning to you. Yes, so Governor DeSantis says that China's theft of intellectual property is among the nation's most pervasive threats, as he outlined proposed legislation to limit the influence in Florida. Now, the proposal would require universities to report any gifts of $50,000 from a foreign source and more thoroughly screen foreign applicants for research positions. A research institutes then would have to also report all work-related travel to foreign countries. It would also require any company that wants to do business with the state or apply for grants to disclose financial ties worth more than $50,000 with China, as well as Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Russia, Syria, or Venezuela. Well, the number of Americans traveling through airports is regularly topping a million a day. The TSA says on the last day of the month, so February 28th, the number of passengers passing through airports nationwide surpassed 1.19 million. And pest professionals have gotten fewer calls over the last year due to a drop in bed bugs. Now, Bloomberg talked to pest management companies, and they expect to see a continued lower trend in bed bug services due to reduced travel during the pandemic. Now, infestations have declined. People aren't traveling. They're not going to the office so much. And they also think some people have been reluctant about calling as they don't want somebody to come into their home either. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Bruce Jen.